She really hates him. It's really true. Testing one, two, three, testing. How's it going, Bonnie? I good, I guess. Sure. Say, grow this beard or not? Yes or no? What do you think? No. One year you say yes, and the next year you say no. I don't no. know. I just, I just say whatever pops into my head. Well, you can't. I can't get any clues. Do from you it. want me to say yes? Yes, then. What, what will get me laid more in life, a beard or no beard? If I wanted to, um, being kind to others. Well, you think Gandhi got laid all the time? Uh, probably from his wife. He was married. I don't know. I don't oh, know again, about Gandhi. <laughs> Another answer that you're just guessing. I'm I'm saying if you he why would you ask your wife how can I get laid? It's obviously about me. How can you fuck me? Is basically what you're saying, right? No. You want to get laid outside the marriage? You said, Are you asking for a divorce? No. What do you, want? you said I can date anybody sixty years or older. Uh uh-uh, uh. Uh-uh. That's that's not what I said. Yeah. Mm-mm. What'd you say? I said you have 17 seconds no, to do with her, whoever you want. Anyhow, I kind of like it in the winter. Not too heavy, not too whatever. Lisa Rinna is, is 59, so. Who's that? She's like uh, on the Housewives, I think. Is she hot? Yeah, I'm just saying. Who was I supposed to date? Oh, what's her name? Uh, Margot, what's her name? Margot Robbie? Yeah. Remember we talked about her? You know who I used to like was Bridget Fonda. I well, you've seen pictures of her recently? No, why? You can date her. Go ahead. Oh, don't make fun of her. I'm just saying. You can People get her. older. Let me see. I just got back from... Uh, san jose i was supposed to play pebble beach but it got rained out not only get rained out i talked about it the people that were bringing me a tree fell on their house that's how unlucky i am uh a tree and everyone's fell. okay yeah bridget fonda now fonda you gotta Let's put say, now oh look at her back in the day i mean she comes from a, lo- a good bloodline what <laughs> that's not her. yes it is. no it isn't yes it is oh no okay well now it doesn't even look like her face well it's her people age some well, better I, than others oh that's sad it's not sad that's obviously what she wants to be I mean, you aged very well, but that's just because you looked ridiculous when you were younger. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It helped. <laughs> so I, I was just in uh, San Jose. You know, it was like, look, it was only like a 120-seater, but it was sold out pretty much every show. It's because the guy producing it and running it did tons of marketing. He did a lot of marketing like a club owner should or a promoter should not always depend on the comics you know he filled it was in a movie theater like in a prune yard cinemas you know one theater they uh which is bad one one theater you know they have movies or whatever but they had comedy and the only problem is the seats reclined there's people in the front row that are almost laying down because the seats you know movie theater seats you know what i'm saying I I I think I get it. I mean, I don't know. You know, when you go to the movies, how the seats is it go. like in your car when you can go all the way back? No, but you can like lay down. Rich, just tell the fucking story. Oh, oh, my arms are killing me. Oh I my god, you're shots. full of just fascinating facts today. So, but what I'm saying is, the guy from so they're the, laying down. Yeah, I worked with a. Uh, different people that's on good Friday. for your age group then i worked with this girl on saturday she was funny 
Morgan something. What the fuck? Why, we don't need to know everybody's name. What is it about the the person? Instead of now, you're gonna go well, find. Saying, no. What is it that you? What's the story? What's the beginning, middle, and the end of the thing you want to say about this person? The club or, the or a- any anything that you're talking about it right now a- should be leading. We're just getting a little bit of color, and now the story is. Oh, whew. it was. Uh, a lot of fun the guy oh did god. a lot of promoting i was very happy oh the, my god the, the, that's the this is this is the story of what i'm just saying like, i mean this is the story though this is what? it what do you mean i mean think about this as a movie amazing well you get rich there, boss but- shows up oh they did a lot of marketing there's people laying down yeah, in the front row, those seats reclined. And someone that you can't remember their name you worked with, and that's it. Well, what I'm going to leave that movie feeling all kinds of things. Well, the couple that... Mostly ripped off. The couple that came, the couple that was going to take me to Pebble, Pebble Beach came to the show, and a friend, and I'm selling CDs, and he just puts 100 down and takes a couple. I go, I don't want all this. I take, you know, they have so much money, these people, or they try to impress other people, but they were very nice. I know, but it sort of makes you feel like, like, like I don't I'm need a this charity. charity. I know. Yeah. I don't need a hundred bucks. I need, you know, a hundred thousand. Yes. Thank you. You know, but it Remember was, that time like, we were driving and this guy, he was obviously now that I've thought about him so many times, he was like in a disheveled suit. Or he might have not had the jacket anymore, but he still had remnants of like an office job. And remember, he was asking for money, and we gave him some change that we had, and he threw it at the car. He's like, "I need no. more than that." No, you got the story completely wrong. But I'll tell you. Okay, I, but I did tell. Time. But I did tell a a lie story. We were coming. We were in L.A. We were coming out of Target. There was a guy who had a sign. I was a vet, you know. Uh, I don't remember know. the sign. I yeah. remember him being like a white guy that no. was. I, he was. When he I was think about him now, I'm like, this guy got caught up in some oxycon. No, the Sacklers was, got their hands on this fucking. Guy. No, this guy was an ex vet. He had Maybe a sign. we were talking about two different people. No, we were coming out of Target in L.A. right off of La Cienica, and I go, I give him like a dollar and change and he throws it on the ground like it that happened to me once i think it's a different story it's a hundred percent how do you story. know because, because it, i remember it completely i remember well that could have also happened it didn't happen but i remember it got thrown at the car no he threw it on the ground but this yeah. is why i think it's two different stories no one threw change how many times do you think people throw change back at us homeless people once and maybe he threw it towards the car. Maybe some of it hit the car. That's okay. I'll 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 let you slide on that. But it was coming out of Target. That's all. It's not. There's a lot of things I don't remember. And that he you said remember. this isn't going to help. Something like that, or this ain't enough. It's just saying when I was in Atlantic City once, you know, you give the valet, you know, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four, whatever. <laughs> and I spent all my money gambling. I only had a dollar and quarters, and I gave it to him, and he threw it against the wall. He might have been the relative of the guy in in L.A. <laughs> Money's money. I mean, yeah, I guess it's just weird because, like, uh, you know, I went and got a massage and a, a facial yesterday, and those people they get tipped, they get bank, you know, because you're 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 giving twenty percent. I always on give these services. Well, you know, but the services are a lot of money. Well, there's not twenty percent on valet. You just give what you. You know, it's the same with luggage. No, I think people, like, I think you're still giving a dollar when now people are giving five. No, I give more than a dollar. This was years ago, 40 years ago, 35 years ago. I give the guy, the luggage people, at least a dollar a bag, right? I mean, I think, like, these things go up, too. Everything else. I mean, regular old houses are a million dollars, like... You know, I was thinking about the other day, it's like inflation has happened so much that a million dollars is really not what we think of as a million dollars anymore. But what? Still a million dollars. It's it's not, though. It's like, see, but that's the thing. 
It doesn't but get Rich as people much. want you to have that in your head so that you think like a million dollars is a lot of money to have. It but is really, a lot of money. It's, but really, it's not, it's, it's not the amount of... It, a million dollars used to be like, wow, a million dollars. Now it's a But million. now it's like you buy a house, you're done. That's not true. There's a million. It depends where you're nice living, house, I guess. You get a nice house for half a million. A nice house, a big house, 500,000. I know, you're, but think you're about. You're only thinking about New Jersey and New York area. You can go. You okay, went to yeah, South Carolina. Uh, that's not my point I'm trying to make. My point is, is that these billionaires, they understand that a million's nothing. No, but you're still, you're not getting paid enough money to think that a million dollars is a lot of money. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, you're still living in like, oh, $100,000 is a lot. It's not, like, it's, it's. Listen, for, for a year? If you made 100000 every year, that's a good living. That's a good living. It's not. You, yes. It's you, practically you know, probably, minimum wage. Probably, no, you're, you're. I guarantee less than 50% make a million. That's because they're, they're saying to themselves oh, the goodness. same thing you're saying, which is like, oh, that's no. a lot of money. No, it, it's and not. And then it's, it's just, not. And so everybody's like living in. I'm going to look how many people make 100,000 a year. Percentage. It's not about who's making it. It's about Perc how much everything is by comparison. Huh? Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. But if 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 rich people can make poor people think a million dollars is a lot of money, they don't have to worry. They're skating around. They're billions. Percent. Percentage of people. That's make why. That's why. Like inflation is like dangerous because you're still thinking of money the way you used to, but okay. now it's. Okay, here it is. Approximately thirty-three point six of U.S. households earn a hundred thousand or more. With that, around one in three households are bringing a six-figure income. However, a household can include more than one earner. Oh. Okay, so that's one-third of the people. Two-thirds of the people don't make 100000 a They make year. more, maybe. No, it's less. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just I, I believe that I am correct. Yeah, of course. And now when you, when they just, everything keeps getting inflated and inflated. Like, like the amount of money people make uh huh. It has not inflated in the same way as groceries, let's say. Like the, what you used to pay for. Why are all these cartoons and stuff, guys getting laid because laid they go, I got a dozen eggs. Did the price of eggs go up yes, or something? Yes. A lot? I mean, I, I don't buy eggs, but yeah, that's that's something that I've heard. Seems like... Uh, well, I got eggs, you know, whatever. I see these cartoons. On what, work. on Facebook? Yeah. Oh, my God, even your Facebook. <laughs> what? Just good stories. I, beginning, middle, and end? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and I got upgrade. Well, coming home from San Francisco, I paid with miles. Well, I tried to get him off no, this, totally. but now he's back on it. So I'm sorry, folks. There's nothing I can do. I, I, got, I tried to get into it like an actual real conversation about something, but, but there's I, nothing to add. Well, yeah, I know. I got upgraded. And, you know, the blankets they give you in first Think about class. even a, a flight. A, a first class flight is like $1,000. I don't even know. To, to Minimum. No. I paid 20 points or whatever it was. I know, but I'm just saying, like, should it be $1,000 for first class? Like, No. That's crazy. Well, I, the guy in the seat on the other aisle never used his blanket. I was going to take my blanket, but it was, but I took his because it was still folded. I have it upstairs. The blanket that they give you on a plane. Are you allowed to keep those? Uh, no, probably not. Well, it said Saks Fifth Avenue on it. That's why I took it. I think you're allowed to keep them because you're paying for first class so i think you can keep the blanket i mean i flown first class on virgin you should wash it i heard they don't wash them they just fold them up and put them back in those plastics that can't be true though is that what you heard who who you hear from i don't know probably something uh online mm -hmm. well yeah i'll wash it but i don't think they would do that because it's anyhow so when we landed the luggage what are you f holding my pants for? You got your corduroys on. Corduroys on to play golf. It took an hour and a half for the luggage. An hour 
and a half to come down from Newark. They said they couldn't get the door open <clears throat> or something on the plane, which some of the luggage came and then it stopped. And they said they're having a problem with the door. Anyhow, they gave, I guess, everybody a $150 credit uh, on their uh, account. But an Thank hour you. And a half, Thank you for that riveting story. That's a pretty good story. That we had to wait. Uh, yeah, an hour and I a mean, half. the ending. Did you do that on purpose to, to build tension? What I about? guess they gave everybody $150 on their account. You like to exaggerate, don't you? Is that what you like to do? I never. I'm telling you a I good never, story. ever, ever, ever exaggerate. <laughs> never. I I thought it was nice of them to do at least, right? Yeah. It's the, I mean, they usually don't do shit. An hour and a half standing around, you know. What'd you do? Well, I got a coffee. I watched a football game that was on uh tv there there's a tv there right where the uh carousel is and so i, I watched some of the game i walked back Maybe and I'm forth sorry i asked uh, then i went up if to you the, tell you something boring at least speed it up then i went and asked the people what's going on you know but they no one knows no one knows and no one cares people don't care when they're working for somebody else people don't care you know what i mean i don't know what you mean they don't really care about Who? people that work for other companies that they're just what employees. are you talking about specifically like say uh employees for united they really don't so when you're like hey where's my luggage they're like i don't know it basically yeah you know. they don't know yeah yeah they do everybody is and well, they've you know, been asked 20 times well, that's their job to answer. If they have to answer 20 times or 30 times, no one told them they had to work there. You know, take pride in what you do. You know, I go, I give 100% of what I do. Why are you making a face? Take because pride. Because you've never worked in the service industry ever. I used to, yeah, I did. I, I, uh, Chew. bless you. Chew. I used to uh, what work remodeling houses and doing. That's not in the service industry, I, bitch. I'm servicing people's no, houses. No, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Well, you, you've you, never you you it it would really help you to have a job in a restaurant or um at a phone bank or something where you have to deal with fucking people. And what's a phone called. bank? You know, uh, you know, United. Can I help you? Whatever. <laughs> You know? they they outsource all because the other day i walk in you were like so this is what you do you get so angry at someone and then to save it because you can't control your emotions no, and then to true. save it you go like this this is how you think it solves every problem you go i know it's not you i know it's not you yeah i i don't blame them it's yeah, but you're company. still giving such negative energy to them i'm mad you can get mad in life people get mad when you know things aren't the right. way they're supposed to be all right you bottle everything up and push it down i let it out you're gonna explode the canadian way yeah well i've seen you explode that's because you push everything down not me i don't explode that much you exploded yesterday because i said i was on the phone you said it was you it blew it. up you told me to fuck off i didn't say fuck off I you don't did well first of all you gave me the double finger not double you did you went like that to me whoa so is the double finger worse than a single finger? You went I guess so. It's double. You double fingered me, <laughs> and, then, and then and then you you go. I don't know. Then you were like, "Don't fucking talk to me like that. Go fuck yourself." Yeah, you you yeah. blew up. I was on the phone. I was on the phone. You walked in. I go. You you were about to talk to me. I go. I'm on the phone. Uh, and then you, you went it? like this. Then you went like this. And I could see you're gearing up to have some kind of long conversation with me. I go, I'm on the phone. Yeah. That's all I did. I'm no, on the phone. She did it with an Maybe attitude. it was slight cuntiness, but Yes, it's slight. Slight, but not 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 enough. It was Look, this was me. This was me. I'm on the phone. And then <laughs> go fuck yourself. I had to go like, I'll call you back. First of all, you were talking to Annie, I'm sure. No, I wasn't. I was talking to Allie Mae. <laughs> 
Oh my God, you push me off. She, we were talking about my. She does my social media. Uh, who cares? It's Ali May. It's Ali May. You give her. She was telling me something. I pay this woman to do my social media. She was going over something with me. <laughs> what was she going over with? I you? don't remember now. But it doesn't matter. You're not more important than every single other person on the planet. I am. All I said was, I'm on the phone. Look at. See, you're getting mad now. You're blowing up. You can't control your emotions. Control. This is what you do. This is what he does. I tell him something like you can't control emotions, which he cannot. He has a really hard time controlling his emotions. And then no matter what, he'll turn around. And in fact, yesterday when I was, I said, all I was saying was I'm on the phone. You started blowing up and yelling that I come into your room when you're on the phone. All the time. It's like, just take, just take into the, that one moment and go, oh, okay, you're right. But sometimes you got to. You got so triggered because I said, I'm on the phone. So I said, I go, I'm on the phone. And you went, no. Uh, and I know this. You, you fold your arms argue. and you, you puff up your chest because you're going to ask me something. I don't know what you were planning on asking, but I, I could see it in your face like you're launching. Uh, uh, I go, I'm, before you launched, I wanted you to know, I'm on the phone. I just literally said it to you. It made no difference in your demeanor. Zero. You didn't go, okay, one minute, or can you call them back? Nothing. Just. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> about, yes. And you do it all the time. When you come into my room, I know there's going to be some kind of thing because you go. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're I asking that. me to do something, or you want me to go over a joke with you. That's That's the thing that you do. Okay. So I knew you were about to do it. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. And that set you off. <laughs> and you just go for it, man. You just start yelling. Don't you dare talk to, talk me. to me like that. Yeah, you talk to me like I was your assistant. You got to think. What, what, should I, what, should I, what should I have done? Well, first of all, what should I have done differently? I don't know. Which? In your opinion, what do you think I should have done? How could I have handled that better? But please. You how watch you want me to show you? Am mm -hmm. I hold on a second, my husband? I get it. Hold on. What do you what would you like, dear? No, no, I do that to you all the time. I go, hold on, and I go, what do you like? What do you want? I do that all the time for you. Then, whatever I said, I was sorry. You know, sometimes when I wake up, I'm a little cranky. You, I've never met anyone whose default setting is pure unadulterated anger i don't know what you mean my default setting yeah like if just left to your own devices you go into darkness it's like who wakes up fucking angry i'll be like hey good morning Urgh. oh no, that's not true Every that's morning. how you wake up no that is how you wake up no. in, a, in such a fucking horrific mood yes you do you walk around mm, mm, mm. then when i go hey is everything okay i just woke up most people wake up they're like oh it's gonna be a great day or some do gratitude or whatever and then the day kind of weighs on them and they start to get like oh i can't keep up this thing not Faca you facade. you start right in under the mud man just <laughs> some hand coming up out of the fucking sewer <laughs> Where do you come good up with these things? Good morning. Sometimes I say good morning. You go, what's good about it? I've never said that in my life. <laughs> I come in out of the mud. Your hand comes out of the mud. Yeah, that's how you get out of bed. I don't know what fucking happens to you in your sleep. You're just in such a foul mood. When you wake okay. up from a nap, you should be like, oh, glorious. I've had a nap. I feel what? Uh, body uh, uh, you know what she said yesterday i let you take naps like she I, gives permission to take a nap we buy no one's ever said you i can't didn't take i didn't say i give you permission i just have never ever so did you take two a day i never, I never, I've never been like two. hey come on you've, you've had, never you've had enough naps i never take two a day never and you take naps and i never said you cannot take it who says you can't take a nap what husbands or wives say that to their spouse you can't take a nap that doesn't seem right 
I, 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 yesterday, after I made you a glorious meal, I. <laughs> glorious? That what you said was like. It was good. I said I liked it. You go, it's almost as good as New York. Yeah, falafel from a falafel stand. It take, you know, because it had all the ingredients like it does in New York. It was good. I was complimenting it. So then I'm telling him he should go on a podcast and list all the ways it's just absolutely amazing to be Rich Foss. I thought it should be a man. Well, okay. I don't know if every man gets what you get. And then that was one of them that I never get mad when you take a nap. And then you were like, "Mm mm-hmm, okay. And then the minute, I don't even think you're done chewing. You're like, I better take this call. And then you no. went into your bedroom and you took a call while I cleaned everything up. Yeah, I said, but you didn't hear. I go, I'll be back to clean. After no, you didn't call. say I that. said, I'll be back to clean after I, no. yeah, yes, you didn't hear me. Well, why didn't you just clean then take the call? Everything just I thought he Because wa- I thought he wanted me to go on the air right then. But it was, I was wrong. I made a mistake because uh, a DJ I know, oh, a radio it's host. It's fascinating how every single night right at that time something oh, comes up. Oh, a radio up. host calls me. Something comes up. That's not true. That's not true. And I clean wow. so much after dinner. You know that a lot. I put stuff away all the time after dinner. Can, you- I, can I say, listen. G- great we're happy that you've you put a few things away you never clean up to the point where it's like hey we can just go to bed now well it's too right up. you just leave like counters on oh come wiped on down. Oh, wipe anything down anything that's hard anything that has to actually be cleaned not in the dishwasher just sits in the sink there's you know that one day where i sat there we were kind of in a fight and you started cl- cleaning up because you knew you had to because it was gonna blow up. You literally had done nothing for you know two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Then, yeah. <laughs> then you, I was like sitting there and I was like, "Oh, what about that?" You're like, you were starting to get so mad. Oh, smoke you kept was coming. Yes, yes, yeah. because I was you're, showing you. I was like showing you, were, you how it actually gets done. <laughs> you were pointing like, like you were my like, boss. Yeah, yeah, because you come in and you're like, you put two fucking cups in the dishwasher and you're like, I cleaned up. No, no, you don't get to say you cleaned up if I still have to go in and finish. That's not fair. That how do you get to have like a pat on the back? I you're don't... not you're not you're not my my uh 12 year old son you're a partner and somebody fucking cooks and cleans for you every single day and then you not do every... a little tiny bit and you go i clean up all the time <laughs> you don't okay you don't at all so I when don't... i was when I, I was just showing you this one time what it actually takes you were what it actually in. takes and she you were, were like, sitting there like she was my boss you had to see her though that yeah uh, she's pointing like uh, uh, i yeah. i go oh there's like little... i was putting it away anyhow but before no, i even had a chance no there's no you were like there you were like this every two seconds done and i'd be like I'd well never... actually there's all that sitting out there's she's those things this pointing like huh? like she was sitting there like a dictator I, I I mean, Take I take away tater. I went to Austin and there was a babysitter who cried and cried because she had to come to our house. That was during during the flood after the flood. No, Rich. Yes, every, yes, it was okay. It was during the flood, but stop getting so angry. You're I'm not, not good at it. Stop. I'm not good at what? So learn. You know what? This is the other thing. What? I don't know if I should say it now because I've just come down on you for something. So I don't want to just be like. But there's there's something else that I've learned about you that's fascinating to me. And I'll bring it up next podcast. No. What I'll it, bring it up next podcast. Remind me. Remind me. That's fascinating about me. Is it good or bad? It's bad. It's really bad. It's like one of the craziest things I've I've discovered about anyone. And in fact, I didn't even know this was a possibility in human form, but I guess it is. But we'll talk about it next podcast. Oh, is that a cliffhanger? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have time. Yeah, we got to go in a few minutes. We're only doing short today because I got to run. Oh, I went for a physical yesterday. 
Oh, had, God. Two weeks. Really? Two, you don't do that kind of Good. But why do you care to tell people what is it about the physical? I went for a physical. It turned out fine. I'm done. Like, what is it that anyone would want to fucking hear about your physical? Please, well, let enlighten me finish. us. Let me finish. So I go for my physical. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do anymore. He he honestly has no fucking clue what's interesting at this point. Uh, you don't life. think it's interesting? No. Go for a physical? No, no, because every fucking time we talk, you're like, well, I had to go get my tutor fucking looked at. No, I had my to. My tutor? I don't know. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> the last time you had to drink all that shit. Yeah, for a colonoscopy. About, for a colonoscopy. Okay. Yeah, this is a medical corner with Rich Voss. Now, yeah. what is the thing you did this week? I went for a physical, and they gave me two shots, and my shoulders hurt a little, you know, from I got a flu well, shot. Good thing, good thing you showed up at this podcast. Otherwise, you would never hear this scintillating information. I got a flu shot and a pneumonia shot, whatever that is. You're going to get a shot to the side of the head in about a second. Whoa. Woo. She's in that liver. Full there. Uh, huh? Anyhow, I put up a clip. They put up a clip of me doing just a little crowd work, and it was just not even great. And people go, man, that's amazing. That's amazing. Like, man, some of my good crowd work, I'm going to get that online. Then they'll see some serious. Rich Voss, never satisfied. That's, that's it. That should be your next album. Never satisfied. Well, I want one of my clips to go viral. Oh, this one did good. I never said Oh, that. they think that's good. Yeah. You were bragging about our clip the other week, so quit yapping. Yes, I was saying it was good and fun. I wasn't like, that's dumb that they like it. I didn't say it's dumb. I'm saying what you're basically see? saying that. You take, I don't know how you turn everything into a negative. You say, I'm negative. Holy Jesus, you turn everything into a negative. Uh, holy Jesus. I don't think you have to say holy if you say Jesus. Really? I mean, okay, Jesus. <laughs> you take everything <laughs> holy all right we got to wrap this up no well, what about the skiing you didn't, oh. you didn't tell that boring story oh we took rain to skiing the other day okay thank you <laughs> 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 it's like she's that's pretty good that she skis and tracks. I, I like to see her do athletic stuff like that. I wish I would have saw her skiing on the hill. I wonder how good she is. I mean, she's got to be semi-good. She wiped out a ton of times, many, many times. I drove Lauren home, and Lauren was like, yeah, she's not too coordinated. Really? Oh. Lauren's a good skier, though. Lauren was doing some black diamond runs, and Raina was coming down on her own. What do you mean? On different hills? On different runs. Oh. No, she went to a different mountain. She took a bus. No, there's different there's different runs. Yeah, that's why I said runs. Yeah. So Raina went down herself on runs and the other girl left her behind. That's what skiers good skiers think they're better than everybody. Oh, I'm going on this hill. No, you came with a friend. You ski with a friend. I mean, they did a lot, but she gets, you know, she's, she, Raina, that's crazy. Of course she's going to go down some black diamonds on her own. Not every time, but. I don't like it. Well, listen, uh, this weekend I'm in Myrtle Beach. Next weekend, Plano, Texas. The week after that, the comedy store in La Jolla, then back to Texas. No, not back to Texas, sorry. Somewhere. But Comedy Store La Jolla, the first week of uh, February. Uh, next week, Plano, Texas. or What's the name of the club? Uh, uh, Rick Bronson's club. What the, what's the name of those clubs? Uh, comedy something. I don't know. Why do I forget the name of it? Anyhow. Uh, comic Strip? Comic Strip. Is it the comic strip? Mm -hmm. Well, the one in Canada is a comic strip. Rick Bronson's comic strip. Well, whatever. Plano, Texas. This week, Myrtle Beach. Uh, Bonnie's going to be at TIFF's coming up. On Friday. This Friday? Mm-hmm. 20th. Why not Saturday? 
I don't know. I just got booked for the one day, and then Saturday I'm at the stand. So, everyone, go to Tiff's in Morris Plains. Plains. Tiff's. Tiff's. It's also called Comedy Dojo. I don't know. There's a lot of names for it. Yeah, I know. All right. Peace out. My Wife Hates Me was created and hosted by Rich Voss and Bonnie McFarlane. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. Subscribe to the podcast by visiting mywifehatesmepodcast.com. He's totally sober. She's not that drunk. He's really old and she's got some spunk. He's totally holy as an asinine bomb and she's just a little less dumb. She really hates him. It's really true. But somewhere deep down, she loves him too.